was like a bruise. Yeah. And I'm like, a bruise? What do you mean a bruise? Let me see this bruise. And then he shows me, he's like, oh, it's on my neck. I'm like, this is a hickey. You playing with me. Well, was like, it like a little red mark with teeth marks around it? I mean, it's a hickey. But like, didn't he say he got into a fight to defend your honor? That's what he claims. He said... Tell us what Dwayne said. He was at the script club. A and strip the club. scripter was giving him a dance. And as he was dancing, she was dancing, she was trying to kiss on him or whatever, and he pushes her off. So the security come over and grabs him and punches him in the neck. I'm like... <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Does anybody I'm believe like, that story? No, wait a minute. Somebody got this. He claims he was in a strip club. Yes. Had a handful of dollar bills. I mean, yes. And this literally. woman is like dancing on him like, like going crazy. And she's trying to kiss him. And he's like, um, no. Don't kiss me. I'm with the Oninda. Don't kiss me. He's like, I'm like, DJ, do I look stupid to you? Tell me for real. Do Did I you look take like stupid pills each yesterday? day? Thank you. <laughs> So he's looking at me like, baby, I'm serious. I'm like, you're lying. Where did you get this from? He's like, babe, he punched me in the neck. I'm like, okay, let me punch you. So I punch him and see what's going on. Tell Look me ahead. about the restaurant because you okay. were in a restaurant ordering some nice food. What happened? Yes, yeah, so we're in a restaurant. So, you know, you're going as a restaurant. The waitress is supposed to serve you. Good looking so, woman, I understand. We're over there for like 15, 20 minutes. And she's eyeing me, looking me up and down. So I'm like, what's up with... I'm like, what's up with her? So I'm sitting there, I'm like, God. So I go get the manager, like, can somebody please serve us? Because, I mean, nobody's serving us. So, okay, later on... Who was on, the woman? Who was the woman? I'm getting there. Oh. Later on... <laughs> later on... Well, forget about the detours. Let's get right to the story. <laughs> so later on, I come home from work. I hear him talking on the phone, whispering. So I'm like, DJ, who is that? Who are you talking to? He's looking at me like... He's seen a ghost. I'm like, what's up? He's like, I'm like, okay. So, so he hangs up. Oh, I have to call you back. So he hangs up. So we're talking or whatever. And then he says, well, I have a confession to make. I'm like, okay, come on, give it to me. I want to know. So he's like, oh, you know when we went out and she didn't want to serve us? And I was like, yeah. So, and I was like, see, I knew you knew her or whatever. He was like, well, that's... That was my ex. She wanted to get back with me. But I wasn't talking to her about getting back together. I was just asking her, how do you know somebody really loves you? I'm like... He was, he, so he was getting advice from her about how to what, be loyal to you. That's what he says. But I'm like, why are you lying to me? I'm like, you know if you tell me the truth, it'll be better than that. He's still sitting here lying. I'm like, okay. Didn't you that's find you some brass to? knuckles and some mace to explain that story? Brass knuckles and mace. So, Okay, so no, it's not um, brass knuckles, really. Wait. It's pepper spray. Pepper spray. And a knife. Knife. So he's knife. out on the lawn, yes, a knife, Bill. A, a Explain knife. to me about the knife. I mean, he's talking to some lady in the lawn. Some woman. So, yeah, some woman. And then so he doesn't know I'm coming outside. So I'm like, I'm going to go see what he's saying. Who was he talking to? Some lady across the screen. Maybe she, she was, was a, a landscaper or something. <laughs> no, Co I mean, she? she's up here like smiling like they're finna go out to Happy Land or Did whatever. Did you scare her off? So, yeah, I scared her off Chased with the Chased her knife. with a knife off your front lawn. Yeah, I did. Because she didn't want to leave. And she was trash talking me. So I told her, if you don't leave, I will be forced to use this on you. And she looked at me like I was crazy. And she ran. She left. <laughs> let, me, let me ask you this. It, we have a lie detector test that we've given to, to Dwayne. We got the lie detector results today. What does it mean to you? What if this love of your life is, in fact, a horn dog? And, and, <laughs> uh, 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 what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I mean, I'm going to be devastated if, I mean, it's I met him briefly. Me. He looked like a pretty good guy to me. Please welcome Odinda's fiancé, Dwayne, of the show. Dwayne, come on out. You heard everything she had to say. Talk, talk to me about those hickeys you got. Man, like I told her, Look she that got, woman in the eye and tell her the truth. She got it wrong time I was a security guard. No, it wasn't security guard. Security. It was a stripper herself. She the, tried the, to fight me. I pushed stripper. up off of her. Did she fight she you with her teeth? Me. Nah, she scratched me. You're lying. I'm lying. You're sitting here lying. I'm lying. Just because I'm not what you mean, I'm cheating. Just because I'm not with you every day, all you the time, I'm cheating. All times of the night. I call you. Oh, my phone's Man, dead. My phone's dead. And if then my when phone I call you, you dead. act like the phone's breaking up and hang up. When I know I, I never ain't did that. You are lying. You, you sitting up here lying. lying. You sitting no. up here. Like Hold I'm on. Really I got a question. I, as I understand it, when he comes home late at night and you two are lying horizontal, in, in, in the more or less the marital bed, you're together. 
do you do a little nasal inspection of his private parts? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. All right, now, listen, listen up. All right, now, now, look, right, let's hear the story. Let's I plead the she does. I plead she the does. She does. But yes. Explain what she does. She does. Hold on. Explain what okay. she does. Okay. One night I came home around about four thirty. I've been out with a. I've been out with one of my friends that she don't like. A male friend of yours. Yes, that okay. she doesn't like. Four thirty. So she claimed that I've been with a female. She tried to smell my tail. Her nah, man. You can just wait till tomorrow to do that, man. I'm finna go to sleep. She know we gonna do that right now. I'm I want to know to what you've been doing, cause you're sitting up here lying. She put lying. her head up on the car and started smelling me, man. One time she got mad, she thought she smelled the female alone. She hit my flat screen. I did smell the female, with, uh, so she stop hit my lying. flat screen with a Louisville slugger. Stop slugger. lying. Four she took the Louisville slugger to the hotel lights. She took that slugger to the TV set, right? It's my TV, right? too. So what do you mean? TV. I it's paid for it. I it. It was my money and my cash. I went in there. But anyway, forget that. Forget that. She broke my TV. She broke my mine. She broke my PlayStation 3. Your PlayStation 3. Pals and earrings, bitch. I break everything because he tells because he lost so much. And then I got to turn around and spend my money on If you didn't lie, she wouldn't have broke. In your PlayStation 3 with a little slug. She wouldn't have done that. What She's lying. Lying. She's lying. 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 One at a time. I got, I got the lie detector results right here. We're going to find out. We need to find out today because I need to know something. I need to know something. Let's I need to know. I got the results. Let's now, what's Let's it, it going to mean? If this man, he looks to me, look me in the eye, I can tell that man's going to pass the lie detector <laughs> test. Look at that angelic look. Innocent. He ain't innocent. Look at that look. Smile at them ladies. Look at that look. But this guy, really, ladies, what are we talking about? Bill, she knows I love her. Right. Let me do this. Have he you ever, and then, has, have you ever in the past six years admitted to cheating? Yes, I have. One time, right? Yes. Explain what happened. Me. Explain what happened. Okay, so one day she caught me red handed. I was on the phone texting. She walked up on me like, who you texting? You, what, what that is? I, I told her the truth. You were like, texting. This is. You were talking to her, whispering. Hey, Bill. What, 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 what was he saying? What was he saying? He was saying. Yeah, I tell don't know what, what I was saying. saying. You said I was whispering. All I hear is. She lying. So I'm like, she knows she lying. So she knows I don't sit up there and whisper on the phone. He was phone. whispering. Not now. Phone call. Have I ever whispered? So you seen it one time in the past one five years, and I told it. He was whispering. And then I was like, who are you talking to? Who is? So he's like, you were whispering. Hold on. Stay right there. We'll be back with more. Stay right there. Stay there. I'm gonna. More cheating allegations for this couple. I refuse to take the test because you know you've been out that line. I've been out picking for you. I'm taking all of that. Why did you refuse? Okay, okay. What shocking secret sends Dwayne running off our stage? I mean, he needs to come out. And later, find out who this mystery woman is and what does she have to say to this couple? I don't cheat, and you know I don't. I'm with you almost all the time if I'm not with my cousin. You gotta stop accusing me of cheating. You got to. Dwayne, you took a lie detector test, but off the air I said to you, might she be cheating on you? And you said to me, Yeah, she might do be cheating I'm on me. I'm not cheating on him. Because if not you want to cheat on him, why you it take it? It doesn't matter. Why she you, didn't why take you refuse to take the lie detector test? I refuse to take the test because you know you've been out that line. I've been sitting there all cooking for you. Wait, wait, for you. If I you said, yeah, all wait a minute. You don't do it. Why did you refuse to take it? I refuse to take it. I refuse to take it. I go to school and work. Where else I'm going to go? Where else I'm going to go? I go to work. Ladies, would you have taken the test to prove you're innocent? They want to take it. They want to take it. No, no. They want to take it. I refuse to take it. They want to take a lot of take it. You what cannot you doubt my infidelity. I can doubt you. You want to know if it's more than five women in the past few years? You want to know that? I want to know everything. I want to know it Today's all. Today's the day. I need to know now. Please give me the results. Man, look. I want to know hey, right now. Like, I need my money right now, Greg. Now, no matter what happens, you've had ball bats to his PlayStation 3. You've had ball bats to his TV set. You've had ball bats to other his private. No matter what I happens. Mean, I mean, if he... Should I have to get behind the chair for these results? I'm finna go crazy. Do I have to get behind the chair for the result? I'm finna go crazy. Here we go, number one. Hold on, I got the results. Hold on. I don't want to hear. Dwayne, lie detector results. Because she would not take the lie detector herself. Number one. You scared. And you admitted to one in the last two years, other than the one time with your ex that you had told her about, 
Have you had any sexual contact with any woman other than Oninda? Now, you admit it to the one. Other than that woman and Oninda, you said no, and that answer was false. <laughs> Okay. Hey, look, man. Can I take that over again? Let's go. Yeah, can I take that over again? Honest, time. Time. Honest, yeah, over again. honest you've been lying to me. Can I take that over you again? You lying yeah. son of a. You've been sitting up here lying to me. Hey, look, man. Like you've been I told sitting up here you, lying to me. If you, man, come on now. You've been sitting up here lying to me. Man, Run you know what? Way. Save that. Save about that. Way. Right. No matter what happens, pretend you got Velcro on your shorts and you're stuck to the seat. <laughs> Just pretend. Here we go. We can't move. Are you ready, Oninda? Do you promise to stay in the seat? I can't promise. She can't promise. All right, let me promise me. I won't I read the reason. I will not I'm read the reason. Get up out this chair, jumping for joy to help God. Help me, slip. All right, here we go. Number two. Are you ready? Number two. Number two. Ray's coming out right there. Do this. You come over here. Yeah, you sit over there. I feel safer with Bill by me. <laughs> Number two, Dwayne, did you get the hickey on your neck from a woman during a sexual encounter? You sit down. You said no, and that was false. You've been lying. You've been sitting up here lying. All these lies you tell. You tell so many lies. All of it is lies. All I hear coming at your mouth is big ass. Your mouth might as well be the toilet. Let's go to number three. This man's going to have trouble when they get back to Hot Atlanta. They're going to have some trouble. You guys stay up here with me now. Get close. You are not You got to come close. Let's get to the last results. Here we go. I can't even cry over dogs. I'm glad you don't have a baseball bat in your hand. Man, you know I ain't no dog, man. Number three. When I get home. In the last two years, Dwayne, have you had any sexual contact with more, more than five women other than a... Ne uh, other than Oninda, more than five women other than Oninda. You me. said no, and that was true. Oh. Oh. So it's less than five. Wow. Wow. You haven't slept with more than five women. Five women. I forgive you. you no, I don't forgive you. Man. No, I don't forgive you. I can't you. get credit for that. No, you're, no. For Can that? I be no, serious? No, no. Right, how, do, how do you one feel? One slip. I just did it one time. I slipped one time, John. One time. All right, just for a moment, let's be serious. Oh, Ninda, what does this mean to you? Uh, what? Are, are you a little bit hurt by this, or are you about ready to launch I'm on I'm hurt, him? but it's what I expected. I expected it because I expect dogs to be dogs. Dogs have <laughs> So, I mean... It's good with and me. And I just had my day a few it's times good with me. Off. Yeah, you had fun a little few times. You had fun more man, than once, twice. but fewer than five. So it's probably four. It's twice, man. It wouldn't no. be four. You know, You're lying. Four, you know I what? I don't even five. want to hear it. You know what? what? Save it. Save like, it. I like, mean, you're gonna I'm not going to leave you. You're going to punish him during the relationship. Is that Bill? what you're going to do? All right, let's do this. Do you still love her? She know I love her. Please, heart. please promise everyone that the baseball bat incidents are done, and you two are going to try to work out your difficulties. you got too much invested in each other. I You're both good-looking, attractive, special people. I can't people. keep any promises. I'm sorry, right, Bill. I can't keep right, any promises. Before we leave, Dwayne, I want an honest man-to-woman moment right now. What do you have to say to Aninda? <laughs> Baby, I know I cheated on you, and I know I kept lying to you about it, but I'm sorry. You know you I love that you. last time. No, try a new line. A new line? I'm what you serious. sound like? Man, I'm dead I'm real, not kidding. You know I'm not I kidding at all. Oh, I don't want to hear that. Yeah, you, you know love, love me. Yeah, you love me, my no you should sing with that. angels more than dance with devils. And you've been dancing, you you've been that. dancing with too many devils, and you gotta quit that. I like dancing, Bill. What I know you say? like dancing. All right, we'll continue with more right after this. Cheating allegations for this couple. It was during matter. the four years he was matter. locked up. I'm you sorry. You should have divorced me those four years. Yeah, I should have, and I regret right. I did. Say that again. Hold on. Wait, say that again. Is he still cheating? Did Worry you get about. another woman pregnant when you were married? And is he the only one? You had sex with her, so there was a... You had sex with her. I didn't have sex with that woman. Okay. Wait a minute.
get ready for a showdown today. Our guests are accusing their mates of cheating and putting them on the hot seat to get to the truth. Please welcome Carla to the show. Carla, how you doing? Hi, I'm doing great. Talk to me about Alaric. What's going on in your relationship? Well, um, I need to know if my husband has cheated on me. We've been married for eight years. Got three kids. Three kids. Ten, eight, and six. Yes. Three Two kids. boys, one girl. Yeah. Uh, throughout the eight, entire eight years, he has cheated on me. It's gone um, on. He's, he's a serial cheater, but you're worried about the last two months, aren't you? Yes. We, I left him for a year this past year. We've Couldn't been, take it? We, no, I left him, and I will leave him again. Um, Today's but, the day. It's either yes. he's here or he's gone. Yes, and for the last two months uh, that we've been back together, I do have some suspicions, and I need to know if he's going to continue or stop or if he has because it's over if he has. And he denies it, correct? He denies it, yes. He they said he's changed, it. he's a better man, all the excuses that he's done before, and I've always opened up and uh, retrust and open, let my guard down, and this time my guard is up. All right, from your heart, if you find out he's cheating, what happens today if you find this out? I don't think that we belong together. I think that I, I feel bad for my children because we're a great family when we're together, but it's not he a healthy relationship when there's constant cheating and lying, and okay. from both parts. And you want to keep it together because of the kids and because you love this guy. Now, Carla, yes. what about you? There's maybe something on your side of the net, isn't there? Oh, of course. Uh, tell, me what, tell me what's going on. <laughs> what happened? Well, on my side, uh, there was a, a period in time where uh, my husband left the home for four years in prison, four and a half. And, of course, I had a couple of relationships during those four years. Who wouldn't? I mean, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and wait for you four years when you were doing your thing before those four years. But you years. were married, and because you didn't divorce him. No. And you also took a lie detector test because he wanted it. I did. Mm -hmm. you, you both took a lie detector yes. test. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Lots going on. Please welcome Carla's husband, Alaric, to the show. Alaric, come on out. Are you telling all these lies on TV, man? Seat. Talk to me. Talk about what you're doing. No, I let's talk, talk about, about the doing. apartment. I'm ready to talk about what I've done. Yeah, well, let's get it out. What doing. Alaric, what do you have to say? I mean, most of what she said is true. You know, I cheated. You know, I did what I did. You know, I went to jail, but we were still married. So there wasn't really no excuse for the things that she did while I was in jail. But you have to understand, if a man's locked up for four and a half years, a young woman needs some male companionship. She should have divorced me then. She wouldn't divorce you. Didn't you should have. shouldn't have left his family in the first place. He shouldn't have cheated Talk for to me about three you months. The, first of all, you called the police on me in the first place. As soon as we got married, you, you called cheated. The police. So? How do you mean that? You took my son with you. Yeah, you that was my son. You were driving with your, my son on your right. lap, and you took off. But that's my that son, is though. Danger. But is that true? That's not why you called the police, though. Is that true? That's not why you called Did the police, Did you run off though. with your son on the lap as you were driving the car? Is that when you got arrested and went to prison? No. And I brought my son back, and then I left. Talk about the apartment complex story. What happened then, Carla? Apartment oh, complex oh, girl. Yes, um, there's this woman who visits a friend every single day. I see her car every day. We're not even day. together at this time. Though. Okay. Um, we weren't together. We weren't messing with She had a boyfriend when I came back out here. One night, one night, she has a boyfriend one day, while we're married, we though. were having sex all day long, and we were talking about being together. And so that same night, he says, I'm going to go play pool. I say, okay, go ahead, go play pool with your friend. But she and knew why I was going out. So I told her I was going out. Okay. She knew who and I was going out. Me and she knows who I was going out with. At 1 o'clock in the morning, with. talking about he's going to spend the night with her after we had all that day of fun. Really? So you had an all day. He comes back the next day at 11 a.m. So at 11 a.m. What about your boyfriend? Her. What about your I boyfriend? Her. Tell him. I wasn't with him anymore. I wasn't you with him with anymore. Him. I run still upon with her and I ask her, did you sleep with my husband? And she says, Carla, I'm not the one to talk to. That indicates to me as a woman, you are protecting him and hiding something. That's because he's trying to stay out of our business. If I was in that same situation, I would have been like, look, lady, I didn't sleep with your man. You have nothing to Did worry about. Did you get about. another woman pregnant when you were married no. to Carla? Didn't happen. No, but how many, no. How, many, how many times did you get pregnant while I was in jail? How many Why times? you was married to me? Twi how, uh, yes. how, what's the number? Two. It's wrong. I did it. Oh, well, you okay. shouldn't have left your family in the but first place. But you still, place. even when you, you say that, you still justify me. You that I am right now. How did I turn you into anything? I'm not no magician. <laughs> I'm going to turn you into something. Are you sure you didn't get any other women pregnant? No. Sure about that. Do you I think you got, you got pregnant. some girls pregnant? How does she know if I got them pregnant? I don't yes, because I saw the paperwork. So she what sent you the paperwork and it so said, this is what you made but don't me you do. Know, but ain't she a liar, though? How many times has she lied? I don't care. That it paperwork doesn't matter. says she has a lie. That has but nothing to do with me, But you had sex though. with her, so there was a You had sex with her. I didn't have sex with that woman. Okay. 
You and little, you and old girl didn't do nothing? Wait a minute now. Did you have any affairs with women? I have before. You have before. You didn't do nothing with her? The, uh, affair she didn't do a, nothing with you? Does an affair with a woman count if that you're married? That was to get back yeah. at you. It has nothing to see. Another justification. Hmm. You just said you didn't do it. <laughs> You just said you didn't do it. Now you're saying you did, but it was to get back at me. So yeah. you, you, you want to know if he's cheating. You've had sex with men, unprotected sex. You've been pregnant twice mm -hmm. and having affairs with women, and you want to know if he's cheating. Yeah, because that was all during the four years that he was in prison. So I what? never lived with this man so and what? cheated on him. Never. Right. That, that, don't never justify. He I, I, that don't Everything justify that he knows it. about me, I went and told him. Matter, he though. never caught it me doing matter, anything. Though. It, it was during matter. the four years he was matter. locked up. Then I'm sorry. You should have divorced me during those four years. I should have, and I regret right. I didn't. You were gone for four years. Say that again. That's in the past. You were gone Why is the you do in the past with the I do don't stay in the past? You were gone for four years. Why is did I do in the past, but I'll say, but what you do is cool. Tell me that. Explain because you that. were gone for four years. How many times do I need to repeat myself? But, because it doesn't mean nothing. You're just since, trying to justify it. Since he it. came out of so jail, have you cheated on him with a, a, a man or a woman since he's come out of jail? No. You no. ain't been with nobody since we've been, no, since, since, we, since I've been out of jail, you ain't been with nobody else. What about else? some dude at a gym or something like that, your son? Explain that story. Oh, remember when I went to the gym one time? Yeah, back in, uh, he was my matter. first boyfriend. Again. Of course I've had sex with him. You know this. No, I'm There's talking about afterwards. I'm talking about no, afterwards. No, I did not. I'm talking about no, afterwards. No, I did not. I'm talking about when my son had to tell me. Yes, that, he came hey, over Daddy. to fix the yes, brakes. You were in prison. Well, but you couldn't find nobody else. This is a man that you said you but hated. But I did not But this is a man him. that you said you hated, that you couldn't stand, okay, but that you I didn't, didn't want him around. I didn't But yeah, when I go to jail, now he's around. Oh, you need him to come fix the brakes. You couldn't find nobody else. No. Carla, is he with you because of your money? Do you think he uses you for money? Well, I mean, for the last eight years, consistently, I paid rent. I bought him a car with my tax money. Our tax After money. I left but one, you job, can't get no. You didn't get no tax because those are my kids. Because those are my kids. But it was my employment. But it was my employment. You got fired. I was still working so two jobs. So you're using the kids as your tax still credit two that jobs. belongs to you. It works to us. You saying it's your money? It belongs to us. It was from my employment. If we're married, if no, I wasn't not. employed, we wouldn't even have tax money. Yes, we would because I was. <laughs> yes, we would. We have three kids. Carla and Alec, do you want to stay married? In today's the day, you, you both took lie detectors. What happens if she passes lie detector test, Alaric? What do you do? I've already forgiven her. I it doesn't sound her. like it to me. I, I have. <laughs> I've forgiven her for what the things that she did. What if she flunks? What if she flunks lie detector? What do you do then? Then I'm cool. We don't need to be together. You know, I love her, we can be friends. So you're done? Yeah, I love her, we can be friends and, and be good parents. Carl, in the last two months, if he's a cheating dog in the last two months, do you think about the kids staying together, your love for Alaric, or do you say, to the curb, that's it? What do you do? It's kind of hard. It's but... hard, isn't it? Because you got those kids, and he's a good daddy to his kids. Explain this to me. Just explain this to me. Um... From your heart, explain how hard this is. Think about those kids, and what do you do if he flunks it? If he passes it, it's easy, right? Yeah, he's, he's a great father. Um, he's a great protector. He's a great cook. When everything is good, we have the best intellectual conversations. We get along so well. But it always, the main issue in our marriage was the cheating. And it's got to stop. And it stopped with you. No men, no women, nothing since he got out of jail. Right. And let me ask you again, just man to man, in the last two months, have you cheated on that woman? No, I haven't. We'll continue with more of the results of Carla and Alaric's lie detector test when we return. Stay right there. Don't miss more secrets. Talk to me about that dude. Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Scandals. We ended up back in the room, and I'm in the bed, and I hear noises coming from over there. Uh, you because I know what I've heard. And drama. It's true confession time for both of our guests today. They're on the cheater's hot seat, and we're ready to reveal the results of the lie detector test. Before I bring out one other person that's going to add a little element to this, I have a sense, and I said this off the air, this looks, looks like a good man to me. I can tell by the eye. The ladies in the audience generally say he's telling the truth. And I feel the same way about you, Carla. Good marriage, three kids, they're, they're tender ages, 10, 8, and 6. But I'm concerned about the both of you being disloyal cheaters to both of you. When these results come out, it's going to be dramatic, I know that. But no matter what happens on these lie detector tests, this is the woman you want to be with for the next 20 or 30 years. Is that correct? Yeah, 
I mean, I came out, I moved from California to Houston to follow her and my kids. And, and this is the woman of your, of your yeah. life. This is your heart light. It's the only person I want to be Carla, with. same way with him. You're in the middle of your life. You've got 30, 40 years left. You want to grow old with that man. And that's the man of your heart. That's the man of your dreams, right? Yes, because I've invested a lot of time. So how many years total have you invested in him? Nine. Nine years of your life. And you don't want it to end today? No. All right. Please welcome Carla's friend, Danae, to the show. Danae, come on out. He has curious, flat out, hands down. Both of these fools is garbage. Both of these fools. Both of these fools. Danae, give us the perspective. You're a good friend. Both, both of, them, of them. Both Look. of them have a pimp and hoe mentality, period. That's it. I what, mean, what is a they, pimp and hoe mentality? They, they what both, is it? They both use their looks and their mouthpiece and, and their bodies at times back in the day and I have oh, what, what about you, you know, to get money what about you hold on Janae, what do you mean use their body to get money use their body to get money use their body to get money you know yeah so, yeah no I don't know what that Carla, means Carla at one point had a sugar daddy that was paying her bills he bought her a car he um did you know she had a sugar daddy no I didn't know about I that did. you know it now I knew that was this the dude you Carla, got friended by talk to me about that dude which one? No, this, which, which one? <laughs> which one? Wow. Which one? Which wow. one? Wow. Hey. Wow. <laughs> Again, during the four years it when I was doing matter. my thing. You right. See? How many sugar daddies did you have? Just one. Just one. What did he do for you and what did you do for him? Uh, anything you could think of. He paid my bills. He helped me get a car, but I paid for it with my own employment. While in prison, I had money sent to her while she could put yes, down payment on the car, though. Yes, and did. you calling her a tramp, right? No. Yeah. Explain why. We went out to the club one night, and the reason why we were going to the club was just to have fun. And we ran into a dude that she knew that I didn't know was going to be there, but she did. And we ended up back in the room, and I'm in the bed, and I hear noises coming from over uh, there. you because I know what I heard. <laughs> I was not married if I did, but if I did, I don't remember. Why are you here today? Why are you here today? Honestly, I think Alaric has um, a view about me. He, he thinks that I'm kind of a bad influence on Carla. But back in the day, like, I didn't have a whip at the time, a car. And, you know, she would invite me to go out and everything. And there was a lot of times when she would hook up with dudes. Well, and because... I would hook up with dudes, but she's a grown woman yeah, much. she is she's a grown she's she a bad influence because anytime i call the house and i'm asking you about something well denay this denay this denay this you put it on her Danae, right. you think they both yeah, flunked the lie detector my kids, man. i think they both flunked let's the get the detector. results right here let's get the results let's go all right all right with your permission ladies first absolutely on second thought, why don't we do the dude first, and we'll go to Alaric. <laughs> Alaric, here we go. We gave you three questions. Sit back, because I know this is dramatic. If he flunked these, it's not good. Mm -hmm. All right, Alaric, number one. In the last two months, we asked you, lie detector, have you had any sexual contact with any woman other than Carla? You said no, and that was false. <laughs> Hold on, we're, we're, I'm not going to read the other two until I Carla spoke comes to her recently Carla, and she come on back. I spoke to her recently and she said that she had a feeling that it could possibly be going on, but I feel like both of them need to put everything out there on the line, let it be known. Let's what get the they, truth out, then we can, can deal finish, with it. Please, Let's please. go to number two, number two, Sorry. Alaric, number two. Number two, in the last two months, did you have sexual contact with the woman whose friend lived in Carla's apartment complex? You said no. And that was false. That's a lie. You see, you don't even live in the apartment complex, so how could it even be true? Let's go to number three. <laughs> Carla, number three. Alaric, here's a question for you. Did you get Ms. X pregnant? And we all know, but we don't want to use that woman's name. She's not here. Did you get Ms. X pregnant? You said no, and that was false, too. Oh, yeah. Man, your lie detector is, is not true, man. None of it. Carla? It's Anything you done. want to say to Alaric? No, I have nothing wow. to say. You're going to do it based on that, you know what I'm saying? But we've been married, even if it was true, which is not, and I'm going to continue to deny it, even if it was, 
How long, how long have we not been together? Let's, oh, go, let's go to year. Carla's results. <laughs> Carla, in the last two months, have you had any sexual contact with any man other than Alaric? You said no, and that was false. Oh. Wow. And I'm gonna continue to deny it. Okay, but you're gonna still, but you're gonna justify. You know you did it. I'm not, I, I'm not giving you no justification. Hey, I, haven't done I used it. to leave, I know what I'm saying? You used to leave at night to go with dude. So that I already know. That was not in June and July. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Anytime you talking about you was going out to go do something, that's when oh, you was going, okay. man. Okay. Doesn't I surprise know. you Please tonight. Continue. And I'm staying there with my kids. Please continue. You I know love them both. both. I love them both. He don't like me, but I love them both. I think they're both. Deep down inside, I think they're both good people. They just need to lay it all out on the line and start fresh. Take some time away from they each other. They lay it on the line back. a bit too much, I year. think. You just took a year from each other. Man. Well, right, let's go to number two. To let's go to number two. Here, here's an important question for you, Carla. Do you want to be with Alaric because you truly love him? You said yes, and that was true. You oh. truly love that man. <laughs> now, why don't we do this before we leave this segment? You both are doing the same thing you accuse the other one of that's bad. Alaric, let's begin with you. You are a serial cheater. Are you willing to lay it out? Say, from this day forward, you're going to be married to a different Alaric. Can you be as good a husband as you are a father? Yeah, I've been now, hold on. Him, Before, I stay right there. I'm going to come to both of you. Stay right there. We'll be back with more. Stay right there. If you're in the New York area, be a part of our studio audience so you can talk back with Bill. To let your voice be heard, send an email to tickets at BillCunninghamShow.com. Call us at 1-888-710-TICKETS or text TICKS to 95902. Message and data rates may apply. It's time for you to be part of the solution. Here's today's question. Earlier, Oninda found out that her boyfriend, Dwayne, was cheating on her. Do you think she will stay with him anyway? I mean, yes, I do. Today are feeling the heat because they've been put on the cheater's hot seat by their own behavior. We heard from all of our guests. Now it's my audience's turn. It's time for Talk Back with Bill. <laughs> all right, what do we got? Hi, Bill. All right, I just want to say that I think that you guys have good chemistry, probably have good chemistry physically together, but there's no trust in your relationship. So whether you failed or you passed the lie detector test, there's a lot of insecurity there, and that really needs to be worked on. I don't think it could be worked on together. I think you guys need to go away from each other and, and work out those, those issues separately. As for the friend, I don't know, you know, it's a little messy up there with you, you know, exposing your friend and whatever. Um, and the best advice I say, you stay out of it. But you guys have a lot of issues. I would stay out of it. I would stay out of it. But I was there through everything. I know. Through the as, so as don't tell me woman, what to stay out of because I'm telling I was you because there. I'm here. No, you're not going to tell me and I'm because sorry, I was sweetheart. there for my loved one. I'm telling you, when you she need to stay out of it. Trust me on that. I was there for my loved friend, one, you and be I'm going to be there for her, her husband because you, that's you her not, Your duty father. is to be loyal to her, not to expose her. You guys, it's too messy. It's too messy. All right, thank you, thank you. Is there any chance? A great point. Are you two maybe considering to split up a little bit, spend a month apart? Man, we spent. We just spent the last whole year apart. I just came back from, I just came back from, Cal I just moved from California to But you came back in the last eight weeks, you're doing what you were doing before. I, no, Did you I guys didn't. Have and so like she. One on one Here we go. Yeah, counseling and all that, man. Danae, hold on. Is there a shortage of men in Atlanta? Because I don't understand why you would choose to go back to this. You seem like a nice young lady, and you deserve better. So I just want to know if there's a shortage. Well, a lot of women say there is a shortage. Of, there's a shortage of good men. Oh, Ninda, is there a shortage of good men in hot Atlanta? What's going on? I mean, yeah, it's a so it's a shortage because there's a lot of city animals running wild that need to be tamed. But then again, I mean, I've been with him for six years. I love him to death. I mean, man, look, man. I know he's a family man. Besides she, being a her, dog, why should her opinion even matter? Besides being a dog, why should it in matter? Because you know what? If I was in that young man, lady's listen, shoes, listen, I wouldn't even be on the show because you would be shoes. gone yeah. straight up. That's you would be gone. DJ, DJ, and she does okay, seem like okay, a nice young lady with a good head on her shoulders. And you can find. Besides being a dog, he takes 
he has to be fat. Man, who, he what? does what he has to do for Well, a dog can home. bring home fleas, so, and mean, you know what that does? You can take him to the ASPCA. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll be back with more. Stay right there. We'll be back. Stay right there. Thank you. hot seat. Once they cool down, can they stop cheating? Please welcome psychotherapist Robbie Ludwig to the show. Robbie, how you doing? I'm doing well. Nice to see you. Nice to be here. We've got couples today that have strayed. Yes. What advice, if any, can you give? Well, for Oinda and Dwayne, um, you know, sometimes couples can love each other, but they're not designed to be monogamous. So you have to go forward and decide, can you tolerate that? And we have one person who took a lie detector test and one person who didn't. So we don't know what's going on with We're the other sure. person who didn't. Yeah. Plausible deniability. That's right, good. Right, exactly, exactly. But, but what do we have here now with Carla and Alaric? Because I thought they both would pass, especially this fine man, Alaric, who's a good <laughs> man. You can just tell I like this guy. And Carla's a good lady, too. But we got bad results for both. Right. Well, here's a couple. They really love each other, but they still cheat. And I think that's the interesting thing. You can love each other and still cheat. Now, here's the question. Do you want to be married and have a monogamous relationship? I do. Okay, do. I believe yes. her. I believe her. Yes, I don't, I do. I don't know. Do you I think it's possible? Alaric, do you think it's possible for you to be monogamous? Yes. Okay. So then what I would recommend is actually they go for couples counseling together. Danae, do you think it's possible for both them to be? Yes, it's po okay, Because so of those three kids, right? Well, and so you really need to be in the marriage in a different kind of way, and you need to learn new habits because cheating is the path of least resistance. It's the easiest thing to do in order to boost your ego, feel loved in the moment. The problem is it has a devastating effect on a marriage. And so you guys both need to learn new skills, figure out why you did what you did in the past, and figure out how to move forward with a different kind of behavior. Before we I leave believe this, in that. I believe in them. But Allery, they need to work with the right counselor. Can you look at Carla? Can I have your number? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you look in, in the eyes of your wife? and tell her your true feelings, and I'm going to ask Carla. But oh, Carla, he needs to learn new skills. He could look at anyone and say he anything. He can say anything. <laughs> look at that face. He could, that's how he gets over. He gets but, over it. But this is going to be hard for you. Very difficult. It's going to be hard for you, but you can do it if you really want it, because if you continue to cheat, Carla may take you back the first time, the second time, the third time, but at one point she won't, and when she goes on to be with somebody else, you're the one who's going to be really devastated. I love you, and I'm willing to be different, not even try. This is what I want. Carla, do you, you love that man. Do it. Do you want to do that? Please. I'll get on my knees. Both of y'all do it. Both of y'all do it. I love you. And I will do whatever I can. I will do whatever I have to. But you have to learn to forgive me, though. Yeah, if you can't forgive me for the things I did in the past, like I've forgiven you, then, then nothing's going to happen. Huh? All right, good. When we continue, it's the bottom line. For more info, go to the website, thebillcunninghamshow.com. If you love the drama and excitement of the Bill Cunningham Show, then follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, and circle me on Google Plus because you don't want to miss a minute of the backstage action. It's unedited. If you're in the doghouse for cheating, here's the bottom line. You can't always change a cheater. Once a cheater, always a cheater. If one is cheating, it still takes two to fix that relationship. Loneliness may beat heartbreak. Take time to meet an honest mate. I want to thank all my guests for coming in, and I'll see you the next time.